Song number 596, just four to go till we get to 600. It's the end of the age, the future is here, but they don't know the signs of the times. And they don't want the truth, but rely on themselves to know wrong from what's right and the cross is foolishness to them who will perish they think they know the way that seems right to a man is at all song goes, it's the end of the age, the future is here, but they don't know the signs of the times, and they don't want the truth, but they rely on themselves to know what is right from what's wrong, and the cross is foolishness to those who will perish. They think they know the way that seems right to a man is at odds with the lamb. The way that seems right to a man is at odds with Jesus. Wake up, it's time to see. Yes, he is coming, and every knee will bow, and every tongue confess that he is Lord when he comes. I started a count up on July 28th because God told me to. July 28th. There was a Jewish holiday the day before, and everybody thought there'd be a harpazzo, a catching away that day. Harpazzo. I told you it wasn't going to happen. I do know things. So today is day 79 of our count up. We are counting up towards something. We are counting up. I don't know how to say this without sounding at odds with my family, the world. It's hard to say this message without seeming unloving. But it's the only way I know to be loving is to tell you the truth. It's the end of the age. 
Jesus is coming soon. He told me he is, and I believe him. And not only he told me it is going to happen, but it's the season. The future is here. The signs of the times are here. The signs of the time. It is the fig tree generation. It is the end of the 2,000 years since Christ came the first time. The signs are all around us. The, the prophetic calendar is being fulfilled right before your very eyes, but you may not be paying attention because you don't want the truth. You rely on yourselves to know what is right from wrong, and the cross is foolishness to you. You think that you're a good person, which you're not. You think you're kind, you're not. You think you're loving, you're not. Not according to God's standard. And you don't think God even matters. And you think somehow you're still going to heaven. I mean, talk about deluded. Why would you go to heaven if you're not a follower of Christ? Heaven is for those who belong to God. And Christ is the only one who reconciles us to God. From before the foundation of the earth, the Lamb was slain. God made one way to get out of this place. And when he comes to judge the earth, if you're not found in him, which is foolishness to you. I mean, Tara's just a total whack job. She's just a total whack job. I mean, you don't even see it in me that with everything that I am, I want to see you saved. You don't think you need a savior. Your life is good. You think this world is all that in a bag of chips. You're deceived, first of all because this is really your prison and you're not getting out of here without God say so. The cross is the say so. You either surrender at that cross or you perish. It's one or the other because it is the end of the age. God said I'm gonna write 600 songs and I've got four songs to go. Four songs to go. And then I don't know what God has for me after that. But it will be something. <sighs> every knee will bow and every tongue confess that he is Lord. He is coming. He is coming. Um, the thing is, you're not even going to see this video until like you've got no more time until like hell breaks loose, I'll probably be gone. I'll be gone. And then you'll be like, maybe Tara, maybe she had some things to say that we should have been listening to. Maybe she really did care that much. Maybe it really does break her heart that we were at odds with her God. The end of the age is here. The future is here. But you don't see the signs of the times. You think everything is going to go on, going on, like it's been gone on all along. But just like in the days of Noah, when the people were carrying on, getting married, buying houses, selling houses, making new friends, going to their spin classes. I don't know what you do. Live in your life, not, not thinking at all on the things of God. Definitely not surrendered to God. I mean, even most Christians aren't surrendered to Christ. They're living in the world. They love the world. I mean, they're going to be the ones that Jesus spits out of his mouth. I mean, do you know the scriptures? You don't. That's why God said, Tyra, teach them doctrine through song because his children perish for lack of knowledge. You perish. Jesus is going to spit out of his mouth all those people that 
aren't surrendered to him. He's going to be like, sorry guys, I never knew you. You love the world. So if he's going to spit out the people who call themselves Christians because they didn't love him, what's he going to do to those of you who really couldn't care less about God? He's going to be like, sorry. I gave you every opportunity to get it right. I called you by my spirit. I sent people to speak to you. But you wanted it your own way. You're going to get your own way. If you want it to be your way, you will have your way. But your way is death. Your way that you want so bad, you'll get it. Your way is death. D-E-A-T-H. The only way that leads to life is through Christ. And in the day you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. Right now you are hearing the voice of God. If you harden your heart, it's on you, boo. It's on you. But you've been warned. I mean, God is so loving. He's given you every opportunity, but you don't know who you are. You don't know that you're a sinner in need of a savior. You don't understand the gravity of what I just said. You don't understand it, and it's not time for you to fully understand. But if you can't in faith believe that you're a sinner in need of a savior, you're really not gonna believe when you find out who you really are. And it's gonna be too late then anyway. All right, I'll put together some scripture to support some of the things I just said. And um, four songs to go. God bless you. Don't be confused. If you don't belong to God, you belong to the evil one, and you're a weed. And at the end of the age, the weeds are going to be collected and burned in the fire. Psalm 98. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gained him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation, his righteousness he has revealed in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth, Break forth in song, rejoice and sing praises. Sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of a psalm. I've heard heavenly harps. They're a real thing. 
with the harp and the sound of a song, with trumpets and the sound of a horn, shout joyfully before the Lord the King. Let the sea roar and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. With righteousness he shall judge the world and the peoples with equity. He will judge the people with equity, with equity. Until that day, he has given you every opportunity to repent and to believe in him that he is the way. He is the only way to be saved out of this place. And he is coming soon. 98, Psalm 98. Sing a song because he has come in to judge the earth. 98. I chose 98 songs for the Remnant playlist. I am singing a song. All 600 of the songs that I've sang are a song called The Revelation of Jesus Christ. Four songs to go till 600. Six is the number of man, and my songs will represent the 6,000 years of creation. I was chosen by God to do this. 98 is the year I graduated high school. 98. And 98 in this backwards, upside-down world is the upside-down backwards of 86, which is the value of the name in the Hebrew. Elohim is God. 